Hi there everyone, Will here. Today we're joined for PwC Herald Talks by keynote speaker Monica Yannickus, Head of Lion Ventures at Lion. To get your thoughts on the future of the workplace, Monica, there are a lot of trends obviously in this area. One of the big, one that's, big ones that strike me in fact is the four day working week. Talk to me a little bit about how that is having an influence on the workforce. Yeah, that's a, a really good question. So the four-day work week and flexible working is coming from the change in values that we're seeing from um, people today just really evolving, moving on from conspicuous consumption to just um, really conscious consumption. So people wanting more flexibility, more work-life balance and, and better living styles. So um, I'm a great example of that. I work four days a week to spend more time with my young family um, and it's, a, it's um, a definite trend that's coming through. One of the other trends that's coming through we're seeing millennials have more impact on the workplace, we're seeing the older generations staying in the workplace for longer and obviously technology is, is a big driver. And technology, you, you bring that up and it's a really good point I suppose, how is that sort of changing the workforce? Oh, fundamentally so. Technology is both a, a change agent and an enabler. From a change agent point of view, machines are becoming more sophisticated and, and in the future will look to um, automate and replace certain tasks and roles, which obviously means that humans and people, our roles will need to change and we'll be looking for new opportunities and new creative modes and, and new roles. Um, from an enabler point of view, technology is supporting this flexibility that we're looking for. A great example of that is communication tools like Slack, which are supporting people who are working remotely and across geographic disparate areas, so it brings them together and enables them to connect. So people using those mobile devices and stuff like that to be outside the building and, and doing their role outside but still participating within the workforce. Absolutely, yeah, and, and it's, and it's a, a really positive, exciting thing, what options it creates. What about generational change? Because we talk about that a lot in my other role, in fact, about this idea that millennials perhaps have a very different attitude to the workforce than baby boomers. Is that something that sort of does actually play out in the workforce? Yeah, definitely. I mean, baby boomers are very different to millennials, but they do have two things in common. So uh, the first thing that's in common is they're both looking for that work-life balance. So um, the baby boomers, they want to spend the time with their family and they're starting to, to want to spend the time on things they want to be doing. Whereas millennials have also want that work-life balance because they want to live the life they want to live. So um, they've definitely got that in common. And the, the second piece they've got in common is connection, human connection. So let's face it, at the end of the day, we're all humans and we're all people and that social connection is, is really critical. And I suppose we ultimately all have to figure out how to work alongside each other as well. And it's interesting as well because one of the other big trends I suppose is the fact that we have these baby boomers who might have traditionally retired wanting to stick around in the workforce a bit more. Yeah, and, and that's a really exciting opportunity for businesses. You know, they um, have this ability to tap into this experience and expertise and keep these people who are engaged, keep them in the workplace for longer. The um, opportunities for businesses are to think about what policies to put in place to support this generation. So you know, what opportunities around mentoring can they create to, to enable that experience to be passed on and also around flexibility again in their roles um, of what that could look like. And what about a couple of key things that businesses could do to retain or attract talent, right? Because I guess one of those, that is one of the big trends as well. We have a workforce that moves around a lot more than traditionally. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you got a job and, and, and you, know, you stayed there right through. Mm -hmm. and no, you're right. And the most successful businesses of the future are the ones that are going to attract and keep the top talent. And the best way to do that is to have the best workplace. So that all really starts with the values and the purpose. So increasingly people are more concerned concerned about the values that they're working for, the company that they're working for. So how can we make sure that these um, these companies and, and general businesses, you know, how can you make sure your values are really transparent and they resonate and that people align with the purpose of what you're working for? Equally, how can you make sure there's flexibility going on in the workplace and technology? How can you stay abreast of technological changes? And, and obviously there is these kind of dual mandates, right, where we want to give people more freedom to work outside the office, but at the same time we need to keep people connected within the office and keep those lines of communication mm. open. So how do you kind of do that? What's what's tips there to do that? Yeah, uh, yeah, really good question. And again, it comes back to what I mentioned before around your values and your purpose. So firstly, you want to have those aligned. And then secondly, you want to be able to give tools to enable people to work remotely or flexibly. So again, the communication tool I talked about, um, being supportive policies and, and enabling that, but then also creating a culture so that people can come into the environment, to, into the workplace. Things like we have um, at Lion, we have a Sunrise Speaker Series where we bring inspirational speakers in and that helps everyone's development 
development. So how cool is it to bring people into the workplace and then enable them to create that community feeling when they do come in so that they've got stronger relationships when they work remotely. So you're talking about sort of socialising and upskilling in the workplace as well as doing the regular day-to-day -day sitting at a desk looking at a computer Absolutely. kind of thing. Yeah. So we've talked about some of the exciting stuff obviously but no doubt these, these changes because it's so progressive come with challenges. What mm -hmm. are some of the challenges potentially? Uh, the challenges around the roles changing and how do you make sure you take people along on that journey. So as machines become more sophisticated, we talked about that, replacing general tasks, autonomous more roles. How are we taking people on the journey and, and skilling them up and, and moving them on? Um, and there's a world of challenges around, around the likes of that. Um, so that's a challenge, businesses staying in the forefront of technology and, and continuing to be a place that attracts top talent. Well, those are some great tips there, Monica. Now, you can get so many more tips, actually, with PwC Herald Talks. It's on the 30th of May. If you go to pwcheraldtalks.co.nz, you can get your tickets now.